US Army ground artillery units have recently successfully taken on a mock air defense system by getting its location data from US Air Force F-35A Joint Strike Fighter. The particular experiment was undertaken as part of a larger Joint Strike Fighter integration exercise. Viewers may note that as F-35s are entering different services of the US military, which include the US Marine Corps, Air Force and US Navy, efforts are underway to utilize the capabilities in different scenarios. The test took place at one of the Doña Ana ranges in New Mexico, which are part of the Fort Bliss Training Center. M109A6 Paladin self-propelled 155mm howitzers from the Army's 1st Armored Division Artillery and an F-35A from the Air Force's 59th Test and Evaluation Squadron took part in the test, along with several supporting units. The important part is that the concept allowed the F-35 to remain in its most stealthy mode as it didn't fire at the target itself. This tactic could have huge impact going forward. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how F-35 Joint Strike Fighter will be used to take out air defense systems like S-400 without it firing a shot itself. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. Countries like Russia, China and the US have been developing sophisticated layered air defense. These systems are difficult for traditional aircraft and missiles to penetrate. For example, Russia has deployed S-400 air defense system. S-400 Triumph is an anti-aircraft weapon system developed by Russia's Almaz Central Design Bureau in the 1990s as an upgrade of the S-300 family. It's been in service with the Russian Armed Forces since 2007. It's designed to defend against aircraft, including fifth-generation stealth fighters, bombers, AWACS, cruise missiles and even ballistic missiles. S-400 can track hundreds of targets at a time, engage up to 36 targets in parallel and simultaneously launch 72 missiles. Russia is also working on S-500, which will be even more potent. US Air Force as well as American allies have large fleets of fourth-generation fighter planes. Some countries are using American fighters as is, like Saudi Arabia. Some countries have customized versions, like Japan and Israel, whereas others have developed their own jets, like France. These jets were not designed to be stealthy and have fairly large radar cross-section RCS, which makes them very vulnerable to a potent air defense system like the S-400. The threat perception can be judged from the fact that even Israel, which has one of the most well-equipped air forces in the world, had made high-level requests to Russia not to provide S-300 to Syria's Assad regime. Viewers may note that S-300 is a generation-old platform compared to S-400. Technically, S-400 makes large parts of the air fleet of not only the US but also its allies vulnerable. The F-35 is considered to be a day one aircraft as it will be used to knock out hostile integrated air defenses at the very beginning of a campaign and enable non-stealthy aircraft to carry out follow-on strikes. But viewers may note that stealth does not mean invisible, not only to new age radars or to human eyes. Stealth makes an aircraft difficult to detect and track. F-35 is one of the stealthy operational jets. It uses classified techniques to reduce the heat signature. 
this thermal profile management of the jet makes it difficult for infrared IR homing missiles to target it F-35 as the lowest radar cross-section RCS of all the jets except the F-22 Raptor but it has vulnerabilities against X-band radars it's stealthy from the front and rear against S-band radar it's stealthy from the narrow front aspect against L-band radar the limited reduction is achieved from the direct front modern air defenses like S-400 uses radars that are touted to be able to detect and track stealth jets for the best chance against these kind of air defense systems the fighter needs to be in its stealthiest configuration where it carries no external weapons this limits the engagement capability of the f-35s as limited weapons can be carried internally secondly when in a high threat environment engaging targets with sensors in active mode could potentially reveal the fighters position it's to be noted that F-35 itself has a diverse array of countermeasures which include electronic warfare suite, expendable towed decoys and internal chaff launchers to protect itself when its cover has been blown. This is why tactics of using F-35s with artillery could be vital for future suppression of enemy air defense SEAD, missions when it comes to conflict with near-peer adversaries. U.S. Air Force Captain Charles Humphrey, assigned to Air Combat Command, acting as the exercise director for the test, explained, The F-35 is a very capable aircraft, executing against numerous targets. We can use its sensors to identify multiple targets, and we can use the Army to take them out. We can start shaping the battlefield faster, because when we start fighting bigger opponents, we are needing to be able to do that. The idea is not new, but the F-35 sensors gives it new wings as it can gather a lot of data using its advanced sensors. For example, F-35s can passively detect ground radars of air defense systems by their radar signals, which these radars send out when trying to detect enemy aircraft. These radar stations can then be located, categorized, and geotagged. This information can then be passed on to other aircraft units on the ground and naval assets who can then target these installations depending on the scenario viewers may note that in 2018 the US Marine Corps demonstrated this kind of capability when it destroyed a shipping container with a truck mounted m142 high mobility artillery rocket system HIMARS after receiving targeting data from the services f-35 B joint strike fighter At present, the U.S. military can use MGM-140 Army Tactical Missile System attack MS, to take out air defense from ground using target info from F-35s. Army Tactical Missile System is a surface-to-surface -surface missile manufactured by the American company Lockheed Martin. It has a range of over 100 miles or 160 kilometers with solid propellant. The U.S. military is already working towards a system that will have a range just below the 500 kilometers or around 310 miles to meet the restriction of the INF Treaty. The program is designated as Precision Strike Missile or PRSM. Since the U.S. has withdrawn from the INF Treaty, it's possible that the range of the system could be enhanced further. Colonel John Rafferty, the director of the PRSM program, in a meeting with reporters at the Association of the U.S. Army's convention, had stated earlier, We are going to play by the rules until we are told the rules have changed. That's our approach on the team and the guidance from senior leaders. He added, We've worked with our industry partners to determine what's the feasibility going farther than 499 kilometers, and we believe that it's entirely possible to go farther with the current PRSM missile. Our discussions about advanced propulsion leads us to believe that inside the same form factor, with a change in propulsion, we could go significantly farther. PRSM is compatible with both MLRS, M270, and HIMARS family of launchers. PRSM is accurate even in partial global positioning system GPS, denied environments. So it's evident that the U.S. ground forces will have the capability of taking out air defense systems from long distances, which are queued by F-35s. Thanks for watching. 
Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.